Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're differentiating e to the power of x and ln of x. So the function e to the power of x is a very common function in mathematics. And just remember the number e is about 2.71828. It's an irrational number, um, but it is very common. And it's very interesting because when you differentiate e to the power of x, you get the same thing. You get e to the power x again. It's the only type of function where if you differentiate it, you get the same thing. So the exponential function is very special because it is the only function that differentiates to be itself. Let's look at some other examples here. f of x equals 5e to the power x. Again, differentiates to be itself. And that's true for any number times e to the power x. Whether it's positive or negative, it will just be the same thing. Next one, minus e to the power 2x. Well, here the power is going to come down. It's going to be minus 2 e to the power 2x. And this is just because of the chain rule. That's the chain rule in disguise. I've got some other examples on the screen for you to have a look at. You might want to pause the video there and get your head around the pattern. But basically, the power, the uh, coefficient of the power comes down. So the number multiplying the x in the power comes down and uh, it multiplies the e in front. That's the general pattern. Finally, we've got 10e to the power minus 5x plus 8. And this is the chain rule. So this is the um, uh, minus 5x plus 8 is inside of the exponential. Therefore, uh, we are going to use the chain rule. And we're going to look at it like this, where the uh, power is its own function and the 10e to the power is another function. We differentiate the uh, power and we get minus 5, minus 5x plus 8, I'll differentiate to be minus 5. And we differentiate the main function. And the main function stays the same because it's just the power of e. All we do is multiply the main function by the minus 5, the derivative of the power. And we get this. And we get minus 50e to the minus 5x plus 8. All that's happened here is the derivative of the power has come down and it's multiplied the 10 in front. And that is the final answer. That is how you differentiate um, powers of e, or exponential functions. Now let's look at differentiating power uh, lns, logarithms. So f of x equals log of x. Uh, and this is a natural logarithm to the base e. And this differentiates to be 1 over x. So clearly, the logarithm, the ln of e, is a very special logarithm because it's the only one that differentiates to be 1 over x. Some other examples look like this. f of x equals ln 6x. Well, by the chain rule, that differentiates to be 6 over 6x. But that simplifies again to be 1 over x. And in fact, that's true for ln of any number times x, ln of 8x, ln of 9x, always differentiates to be 1 over x. This one is 2 ln of x. Well, the 2 just multiplies the 1 over x to be 2 times 1 over x, 2 over x. All good so far. Now we've got a more complicated one, uh, and we're going to use the chain rule on ln of 3x squared plus 5x. We differentiate the inside of the bracket and we get 6x plus 5. And then we differentiate the ln. ln of 3x squared plus 5x. Well, the ln part will differentiate to 1 over. And then we multiply it by 6x plus 5. Like this. So the logarithm has, multiplied, has differentiated to be 1 over uh, what's in the bracket. 1 over 3x squared plus 5x. And then we've multiplied that by the derivative of the bracket. And we get this. And just multiplying the fractions together, multiplies the numerator, and we get 6x plus 5 over 3x squared plus 5x. And that's it. We have done. We have differentiated logarithms. Now, it's time for you to practice yourself. I'd like to pause the video now and try the questions on the screen. 
I'd like to differentiate the functions on the uh, left. And then also I'd like to find the uh, tangent to the curve y equals ln of x at the point x equals 2. When you're finding the tangent, write the answer in terms of ln, um, not as a bunch of weird decimals. Pause the video yourself and try this. And when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you notice that e to the power ln of x just simplifies to be x because the exponential and the logarithm cancel out, they are two inverse functions of each other. And so we're just differentiating y equals x, and y equals x differentiates to 1. Very nice. How well did you do? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel and see more educational videos from us in future. We're covering GCSE A level and IB maths with quick and simple explanations, and more resources are available at advancedmaths.com. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.